Hi everyone, I'm Rob Farmer and I'm director of the Smith County Public Library. And as director of the Smith County Public Library, I get to work at all three libraries. And I'm very fortunate for that. With all the great people, those great library staff that you're you know, used to seeing and you are used to seeing you. And these days it's hard on us because we have a public library, but we're, we don't have a public right now. So we're trying to do some different things and try to put a lot more of our services on the internet rather than being able to, you know, check out hardcover books or videos. But we'll do that sometime soon as, and whenever the, all this stuff changes and you can all can come back and we can't wait for that. Now, I get to wear a lot of hats as library director and that's okay. I really like to wear hats. Here's my squat giant squid hat. And but one of the best hats I get to wear is sometimes I am lucky enough that Miss Chris or Miss Heather or Miss Tracy will let me come in and read stories. And I love to read stories. I've been reading stories at the library since I was five. And so they let me read one on the line for you. And I was going to try to find a good one uh, that was timely and hope you like it. Now, so I looked and I thought, it's Easter this weekend. So... And I know where Santa Claus comes from and what his story is, but I really don't understand what, where the Easter Bunny came from. So I researched and I researched and I researched and a library is a really good place to do research. And eventually I found a book that was written in 1912 as a school book for students. And you know this book had a story about the Easter Bunny in it. And now it's not a book like you might be you know, used to seeing at story time that, you know, they turn the pages and show you the pictures. This book is actually on the internet and you can access this book and many other digital content books on you know, our website or, or on in our catalog. And we are really happy for you to do that while you're all at home. But here's the story of the Easter rabbit. Once upon a time, many years ago, the winter had been long and cold. What makes spring so late, said all the little children. Let's go to the woods and see if she's come yet. But when they got there, they found the woods bare and cold. There were no birds or flowers anywhere, and only Jack Frost and the North Wind were playing among the trees. Poor children, they went back to their homes with sad hearts and sad faces. At last, spring did come. When spring came, Jack Frost and the North Wind saw her, and they waved goodbye, and then they ran away. Soon the birds were building their nests, the flowers were peeping up out of the ground, and the tree birds were bursting. But the children, where were they? Why don't the children come to the woods, said Spring. Last year and every other year they came to play with the birds and the flowers and the animals. It's lonely without them, said the birds. They won't hear our beautiful songs. If they don't come soon, said the flowers, our blossoms will be all gone. All the baby rabbits and squirrels and foxes said, We want to see the children. We want to hide in our holes and peep at them as they pass. Perhaps they don't know we're here, said Spring. Robin, will you tell them? I'm too busy building a nest for my little ones, said Robin. Send Fox. His little ones are already here. Will you go, Red Fox, said Spring. I dare not go, said Fox. The people will think I've come to steal their chickens. Yeah, that's true, said Spring. We can't send you. Black Bear, will you go? I'm so big and I look so fierce, said the bears, that I would scare the children. Besides, I'm so thin and hungry after sleeping all winter that I must eat and eat and eat all day long. Ask Rabbit to go. Children all love rabbits. Now, the rabbit was very timid, but he felt proud to hear that all the children loved him, and he said he would go. Then he thought of the dogs. Oh, but the dogs, he said, the dogs will catch me. You can go at night when all the dogs are asleep, said Spring. So I can, said Rabbit. I'll go tonight. So they made a big basket of twigs and leaves and lined it with soft green grass. Then each bird brought an egg from her nest until all the baskets were full. Then there were blue eggs and speckled eggs and brown eggs. How pretty they looked. Then they covered the eggs over with early spring flowers and tied the basket on Bunny's back. When evening came, the rabbit set off for the town. Hippity hop, hippity hop. How strange and quiet it was in the town when everyone was asleep. Probably like it is out there now. Bunny went to the first house where a child lived. He made a little nest of the soft green grass and put into it one pretty egg and one spring flower. He put the next doorstep and hopped on to the next house. And the next, 
and the next, and the next. When the sun came up, there were nests on every house of the children. Why, spring is here. Spring is here, said the children when they saw the pretty nests on their doors. We were afraid she wasn't coming this year. But see, here are the tracks of a rabbit's feet. He must have brought the message. So off they ran to the woods, crying with happy voices. Hooray for Bunny! Hooray for Bunny! Spring is here at last, and Bunny has come to tell us. And that's the story of the Easter Bunny. And I hope that Sunday that the Easter Bunny finds you and gives you lots of pretty eggs and, and pretty flowers and probably some candy. And that you enjoy that and that I can read to you again sometime soon. Have a great day.